what we're trying to do with thin layer chromatography is we're trying to introduce the technique, but we don't want to prescribe the uh, particulars of the uh, methodology that they're going to do. We don't want them to do a rote, here's the instruction lab. We want them to, uh, to buy into the uh, development of the lab and, uh, and to research some of the uh, technique and uh, what you want to do. So uh, what we do is we, uh, we ask the students to look at, uh, a to develop a procedure for analysis of the analgesics, which tends to be a standard uh, organic lab. Uh, the students don't have a tendency to, to know that because they don't have any reason to be out there looking online. So at that point, they, they simply are presented with a list of equipment, which is standard solvents, standard um, glassware, TLC plates. But actually, I don't even have TLC plates on the list because that would give it away. Um, I, I do have, um, uh, they, they don't even see the word uh, TLC. Uh, I, I do have a UV light box on the list as an odd item that could lead someone to that technique. And so their assignment, a uh, few weeks ahead of the time we're supposed to do the lab, is for them to start researching this. And then they're supposed to, uh, they, they do some work on it, and then uh, they're, they're working in groups, which is the side of a bench, and uh, because they, they need to be able to share the data from the TLC, so uh, they're, they're, but they don't understand that yet. Um, and and we, we allow them to, uh, try to go out and, and determine what it is that they're going to do. So they go and hit Google, which is their obviously first choice, and if they if they Google uh, a UV light box, they'll find uh, TLC is the, what it's used for, uh, and then uh, if not, they could uh, Google uh, analysis of analgesics. That'll come up with these labs that are out there from lots of universities with uh, uh, how to do a TLC of analgesics. Uh, they vary from very simplistic with very minimal uh, preliminary information to two or three pages of all about TLC and how it works and spotting and everything. And they, if they want to, they can get on to. Uh, uh, oh, I might blank. Uh, YouTube and uh, look for. Uh, a video, how to do uh, set up a TLC. There's some good TLC videos. There's some not quite so good ones out there on YouTube. Uh, you have to be a little bit uh, careful on that. But then they they can work completely work up a whole plan for how to do this lab. And then the thing that we have to fine tune after our first year of trying this is what type of analysis. This is simply identifying the components in the TLC. To, as a confirmatory, uh, this this uh, this product says that it has uh, aspirin and acetaminophen and caffeine in it. Uh, it does go beyond a little bit beyond um, analgesics because most of the products have caffeine. Um, the students like to go off and do um, products that have more uh, components in it. Uh, that may not be within the realm of being able to do it. Um, we asked the students to try to synthesize some of the standards. So we uh, brought into a synthesis and an extraction. Uh, if they wanted caffeine, they had to do a caffeine extraction. So they had to go find their own standards. Uh, there's a few things they can't do, but they can do aspirin, they can do acetaminophen um, pretty easily. Um, they can extract caffeine. So that gives them some standards, and we supplement that with some that we have to purchase. Uh, they can do different types of comparisons. And uh, what's been the, the response from the students so far? Would, uh, the, do, do you find them quickly adapting and, and uh, figuring this stuff out? Or? Yeah, they, they, they're very good because our first semester is pretty much <clears throat> they have to figure it out. In a, lot, in a lot of uh, guided level, not necessarily using the literature or going out on the web, but they've already been uh, weaned from following a guidebook completely to the point at which they just take this as another assignment and it's just that they have to do a different set of preparation. Uh, but they're quite willing to do it and they're, they're completely excited. I think everybody that did the caffeine extraction had a really good time. It's just that it tends to be a very long 
process to extract the caffeine. Um, some of the synthesis we did, we did uh, microwave synthesis. They're nice and short. <laughs> so, it, not necessarily fair, but, but it, it, it was interesting. So they really like that. And then the TLC part, um, it's going to take them a couple rounds. I think what we found out in the first year is that uh, the, their first go at it, sometimes they get lucky, but they probably have to have enough time to, to uh, evaluate how the outcome was and decide what they need to change and go back and rerun some because they're they're not getting a sufficient separation in some cases. Okay.